Welcome everyone to Pontus Fathom Hobbies. This is season 10, episode 1 of Joan of Arc, and we are playing from the Apocalypse expansion. Uh, we're through the Apocalypse campaign and we're doing the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. So I've got the uh, board set up. I'm going to spend a little bit more time uh, reviewing the rules and the win condition. There's a lot of special rules here. We've got intrigue cards on the board. I'm going to go through the powers of the citizens and then we'll jump right into turn one. So uh, thanks a lot for joining. Uh, before we start, quick shout out to Pontos Fathom Press. We've got our newly published Alchemy of Azathoth, uh, book three from the Disclosure from the Necronomicon Fragment. You can go check out our bookstore, it helps to support the channel. We've also got a Patreon that has a lot of members only uh, content, uh, can pick up digital books, some inside baseball from our miniature painting. Uh, I've been posting the game schedules out there and as well as uh, putting some of the back catalog of games it makes it easier to to go check out a game if you want to YouTube makes it a little difficult so I've got the playlists out there uh, you can always help us out as well uh, by clicking and commenting down on a video watch a whole video through it helps us with the uh, the uh, artificial intelligence uh, at the end of the world here we can um, uh, you can check us out on YouTube Rumble and Odyssey. We're growing on to those alt platforms as well. And as usual, thanks for your support. So let's kind of go through uh, the Apocalypse, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse scenario. Uh, just some of the details. I already did the setup video. Uh, I've got everything set up on the board. I just want to share this kind of cover art. It's pretty awesome here. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna, so so uh, one, of the, one of the rules is each turn you're supposed to pick a random uh, pentagram space, but I just put them on the board to make it easier for me. Uh, obviously, it's, I'm playing this as a solo game, and I will I will launch them in the sort of the sort of the quote unquote biblical order. So I've got the conquest will be going first, and then each round another one of the four horsemen activates. So imagine these other three are off the board right now. Uh, I, I noticed a couple of rules here. Uh, first of all, we've got these intrigue cards. As far as I can tell, the uh, not the citizen, that's the maiden, I believe, is, is the person who gives us those entry cards. So she's going to be key. I saw that there is a rule if the enemy army enters a space with the citizen. Oh, it's the merchant girl. So the merchant girl gives us the entry cards. I did notice that if... Uh, the enemy units come into any citizen space, they're automatically gone. So that's a good to know. I've also got our conversation cards here uh, for the doctor, the, the soothsayer, the bone setter, the citizen, the blacksmith, and I don't think we'll use it for the priest. The priest is actually a special role. The priest will be St. Patrick in this game. And he is summoned by having two citizens go into the church. Uh, so that's that. And then um, a couple of other points. A citizen can also pray to bring an angel down. So you've got the angels up in the sky there. And the last detail is uh, just checking out these special rules. Intrigue cards activated with experience points or intrigue tokens in this in this scenario. So that's cool. Uh, citizens are considered holy army, so I can acti actually activate my citizens and move them actively. Uh, all civilians can perform the prayer action while in the church. The cemetery, uh, if one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse is in the cemetery area, can summon a skeleton. So I've got some extra skeletons in reserve. They can only do four that way per turn. When the... Uh, when unholy forces are destroyed or disrupted it is deployed back to the starting penta pentacle so basically we still gain the XP from destroying them but they don't go to the infirmary they go here now if the, if the angel fights any of the unholy forces they are sent to the infirmary and they have to roll the they have to roll the uh, recovery die there, so as usual, the uh, the doom die. Okay, so I think that's going to do it. 
Uh, and again, you have seven rounds. Unholy player can win by gathering 20 victory points. If they don't win by the end of the seventh round, the holy player has staved off uh, Apocalypse. So, okay, let's start. Let's get into it. Let's start with round one. We've got Conquest here on the board. Boom. First forces of evil have landed on the on our on our Joan of Arc town here. Let's go ahead and get our clock going here. So we've got two intrigue, I mean sorry, two activation points and we'll do our war council. You can get three power tokens, two XP. Okay, great. So I will start out with the uh, I will have our forces of evil get three tokens as well as their two activation tokens. Now since it's beginning of the round here, they, they only um, they don't have much attacking to do. So let's also give our players the same. Give them the two. And I will also give them the power tokens as well. Okay, so, um, so starting out, let's just activate them here, and I will go ahead and, just to make this easier, I'm going to just move this tree here for now. I'm going to move him here, move all of these here. Let's just review quickly uh, these forces. First of all, here's the Conquest Mini. You guys saw it before. Got a paint through video. We painted these up, so we'll get that Conquest. Uh, we'll check out what Conquest and his forces can do here. So Conquest says for each follow-up after combat performed by an unholy unit, gain one token or draw one card. So he can gain a token or draw a card. He's also got skeletons and the damned as well as so the damned. So we're gonna move all these into this space. How many hits does this guy have? Three. I think that I can't fit him in there yet. So I'm gonna just move them here first. Uh, this army move in. And then we can have the additional forces move next round. This looks like it's kind of a slower burn game. Okay. And I think with just one activation, uh, we'll just kind of take it, uh, I guess we could do an attack with the uh, skeletons against these guys here. So let's let's do a couple of attacks there. I'll we'll just do, uh, actually, are they actually not adjacent? They're not even adjacent there, so that's fine. Let's just leave them like that. we we'll just activate first round. Uh, and we got them their power tokens. We'll go ahead and also activate with both of our activation points. I want to move these guys and these guys. So let's have these soldiers move up to here. Uh, pikemen will move here to take on this first army. Uh, I'm also going to move him here and her to here, get them closer to the church. Uh, we also gain a from the merchant girl, as I said, we gain a intrigue token. So we'll get our first intrigue token and just keep track of that. 
so we've got a number of intrigue components here. Alarm cry, move all civilians one area for two intrigue. Sudden realization if an allied unit was, was just destroyed, gain one reactivation order. Or three, sign of the cross when attacking all blank results become push results at the end of this round. So those are pretty powerful. That's pretty good. I'll keep those handy. Uh, let's go ahead and just do a quick uh, attack by the bowmen across to those skeletons. Try to chop down their numbers somewhat. Skeleton, uh, sorry, bowmen. Bowmen will attack. Going to the bowman here. It says at the start of the game, receive uh, one stakes as a bonus action. You may place stakes in the bowman's area. Okay, so we get stakes. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. I'll uh, place the stakes there. And a shield becomes a wounded. So I'm just going to roll the one for them. And Skeletons have a defense of no defense. So let's just go ahead and roll it. They get a push, so at least one of the skeletons gets pushed back to here, which is fine. I think that's, uh, that's fine. Okay, so that's a slow start to it, but we covered a lot of the uh, extra rules. Uh, so strategy here is get some civilians to the church so that we can um, summon an angel or summon St. Patrick. Uh, we'll also be spawning the next of the demons next round. So yeah, so uh, thanks a lot for, got, for watching, guys. We'll go through the um, more of the Four Horsemen next round. We'll also uh, read their intrigue points. And uh, looking forward to getting into this. This is a huge game. Lots of details on this one. I want to uh, get it right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.